You know, I remember the Giants-Redskins games of the 1980s and how important and how huge those games were. It seems like when Washington had to play the New York Giants during the 80s, it was always a huge game because, number one, they were always in the same division, of course, but secondly, it seemed like it always had something to do with playoff implications. I mean, it was like... Everything was on the line when you went to the Meadowlands and vice versa. When they came to RFK Stadium, it was a huge game. And, you know, not only that, but the Giants back then, to me, were very intimidating. I mean, there were a lot of games where I could honestly sit back and enjoy it because I felt like the Redskins are going to beat this team handily. You know, it was... Even though that the Cardinals actually did give us quite a few uh, good games over the years, a lot of times the Redskins beat the Cardinals pretty handily. And then, you know, other other games that it seems like the Redskins usually came on top of, um, you know, throughout the, the league. But it was the Giants that always seemed to have our number, right? I, I, and... But they were also kind of an up-and-down team during the 80s. You know, Bill Parcells, he had that team playing really good. Like, it was either championship football or they would just have a very down year. Uh, that, that seemed like that's how I remember the New York Giants of the 1980s. And when they were up, man, they were going to the Super Bowl. I mean, I remember the, uh, the 86 year, of course. That was the year that Joe Theismann got his leg broke. Um, that was the year actually that the Redskins played the Giants three times. And, you know, you're wondering, could that happen this year? I don't, I don't think it's going to happen this year, but it's possible that if the commanders get into the playoffs this year, that they will face an NFC East team for the third time. But I, I, I do, um, I do remember that year vividly because we could not beat those Giants at all that year. We were 0-3. And in fact, that third game was an NFC East. Uh, that was an NFC championship game. It was between the New York Giants. If I remember correctly, was it? Yeah, I believe it was. Uh, <laughs> I'm, my history is a little wonky, but I, I believe it was. Um, Jay Schrader was the quarterback, and we could not score a single point in that game. Um, it seemed like it was a very windy game, uh, very cold game. It was in the Meadowlands, of course, and our offense just could not get anything going against the Giants, and uh, it was just a, it was just a bad game. Maybe it wasn't the conference championship game, but I, I really thought it was. I'll have to go back and check. Um, but yeah, I mean, we played the Giants three times, and we rode for three <laughs> that year. But um, the next year, we came back and we did beat the Giants, and uh, the Giants, I think. I can't remember. I think the Giants were still a pretty good team uh, the next year. Um, and we were able to beat them. That was the strike year, the year that we went to the Super Bowl. So it was a lot of back and forth. You know, the, the Giants were typically a, a really good team um, off and on. But they, like I said, when they were on, they were a Super Bowl team, it seemed like, during the 80s. And same, same with us, just about. I mean, we didn't have very many losing seasons. As a matter of fact, during the 80s, I think the Redskins had one losing season um, under Joe Gibbs. And uh, the rest of the time, it was all winning seasons. We may not have went to the playoffs every single year, but we at least had won 10 games under him. Uh, except for that one uh, season, you know, in the 80s. Uh, well, take back for this very first season when they were 8-8. Eight and eight. But for the most part, I mean, 
these games against the Giants have always been typically huge games. And so, you know, in two weeks, it's going to be nothing different. It's going to be a super huge game with playoff uh, implications. Um, just something big. It's flexed to Sunday night, so it's a primetime game, which actually is not that great for Washington because then they got to turn around and travel to San Francisco and play a Saturday game. And so it's going to be a short week for them. But, you know, it was also a short week for them when they had to travel to Philadelphia, which, all you know, it's not as bad because it's on the East Coast. But they did have a Monday night game, and then they had to follow that up with a Sunday game. So hopefully um, hopefully it won't bother them that bad. Uh, They do follow that game up with a home game, I believe, against Cleveland. So... I th- I think we're going to see, uh, we're going to enjoy this. I think we're really going to enjoy this. A lot of things seem to point toward a Washington victory, but hey, let's wait and see. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, let me know as well for some of you uh, old timers like me who were able to watch Washington play in the 80s. Uh, what are your memories, favorite or not, Uh, playing against those old stinking New York Giants. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, This is the Washington Football Maniacs channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss any other video releases. My name is Greg Sykes. Thank you for joining us. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.